This is the Sonoff BMT-01 barbecue meat thermometer, but I'm not using it like you might think. This Bluetooth temperature sensor was designed to track the ambient temperature of a grill or the meat that you are cooking. But I'm a vegetarian, so what am I doing with this meat thermometer? Well, stick around and you'll find out, and chances are it'll be just as relevant to you as it is to me. The BMT-01 is an all-new compact Bluetooth temperature sensor with a display. It came with two high-temperature metal probes and was designed to monitor the temperature of grilled meats or barbecue grills. The display runs on replaceable batteries. While the metal probes can withstand the high temperatures of a grill, the display cannot. Thankfully, the temperature probes have long cables and the display has a loop at the top and comes with a magnetic hook that easily attaches to a grill to support the display away from high heat. It also came with a little travel bag so you can easily store all the components and carry it with you. The heat resistant metal probes deliver real time temperature readings every two seconds, which is meant to provide you with precise cooking control, but more on that later. Before using, you'll need to remove the black tip at the end of each probe. The probe ends are sharp and these tips provide protection, but the tips are not heat resistant and will melt at high temperatures. Not that I'm speaking from personal experience or anything. You can track the real-time temperature from the device's built-in display or from the eWeLink app. Additionally, you can enable alerts to send you notifications when the meat or grill reaches your desired temperature. This helps you avoid overcooking and to cook or to serve your food at the appropriate time. With alerts enabled, the temperature sensor itself emits a loud beeping sound and you'll get a push notification on your phone. From the eWeLink app, you can monitor temperature changes over time on a graph and observe any fluctuations. This can be helpful for fine tuning how to cook different foods or to observe the impact of just opening and closing the grill. But as mentioned, I'm not using this to monitor the temperature of a grill or grilled meats. We do all of our cooking indoors in the oven or on the stovetop. And since we're vegetarians, Ashley and I are not cooking any meat. Rather, I was interested to see if this device could solve two needs for my family. First, alerting us when the oven reached its target temperature, and second, alerting us when a pot of water began to boil. Before testing out these two use cases, I asked the brand if it was safe to use it in this manner, and they said yes. To test, I hung the temperature sensor from the included hook, which attached magnetically to the hood above our stovetop. I then observed the ambient temperature on the BMT-01 compared with our home's thermostat located about 10 feet away. Both units were within one degree Fahrenheit of each other, so it seemed like a good start. First up was the oven test. I wanted to see if this sensor could alert me when the preset temperature was reached inside the oven. This would let me know the exact moment to put food in the oven for baking without me needing to be in the kitchen the whole time. I mean, I got other stuff to do. To get started, I created an alert in the eWeLink app to notify me when the temperature reached 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, I placed one of the metal probes directly in the center of the oven with the tip suspended in air. Then I preset the oven to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and monitored the real-time temperature on both the oven and the display of the BMT-01. It was quickly apparent that the BMT-01 was heating up much faster than the temperature displayed on my oven. In fact, this temperature sensor displayed the target temperature of 350 degrees when the oven showed only 250, a whopping 100 degree difference. Within the eWeLink app, you can calibrate the temperature by adding an offset, but adding a 100 degree offset just seemed crazy. My next test also showed why I may not want to do this. For the second test, I wanted to see if the sensor could alert me when water began to boil in a cooking pot on the stovetop. This could be helpful when you're, say, cooking pasta 
and you need to step away from the kitchen. For this, I created an alert in the Ewe Link app to notify me when the temperature reached 212 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, the easy to remember boiling point of water. Next, I placed one of the metal probes into a saucepan filled with water on the stovetop. Then I turned on the burner and monitored the temperature on the BMT-01 while listening for the sound of boiling water from that saucepan. In contrast to the oven test, this time it was spot on. The BMT-01 displayed 212 degrees and alerted me at the exact moment that the water began to boil. If I had added a 100 degree offset based on the results of the oven test, it would have been way off when boiling water. If you've been following the channel, you know that Home Assistant is my preferred smart home platform. It's what powers all of our home automations. Unfortunately, as of this recording, I have been unable to add the BMT-01 to Home Assistant. While there is a Home Assistant add-on for the eWeLink app, the BMT-01 is not yet a supported device. This means that I must use the eWeLink app for creating alerts and monitoring temperature history something that I was hoping to do in Home Assistant. Of course, you can just use the physical device, which shows you that real-time temperature and sends an audible alert. I wasn't thrilled about needing to download another app. I already have too many smart home apps and prefer to just have everything in Home Assistant. This simplifies management of my smart home and unlocks more home automation possibilities by using different devices and sensors in combination. More concerning for me though was that oven temperature tracking. Now I realize the primary use case is to monitor the temperature of barbecue grills and meats, but I would have expected oven tracking to operate similarly to the ambient temperature of a grill. Boiling water was surprisingly accurate and I'm unsure how to reconcile the results of this test with the oven. My initial thought was the metal probes cable was resting against the oven rack and perhaps that caused it to heat up faster. But in the boiling water test, the entire probe was laying on the bottom of the saucepan, so I'm not sure. I will say that if you are, are interested in smart alerts for boiling water, this device could be just what you're looking for. And it may work equally well for tracking the temperature of grilled meats, but I cannot comment on that. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. Let me know in the comments what you think of this device and if it could solve a problem for you. If you're looking for the best temperature sensor for Home Assistant, you'll want to check out the video here. And if you're interested in supporting this channel, consider becoming a member using the links in the description. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for tech reviews and tutorials that help you become more productive. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.